Today's video isn't about this car. I'm going to do some stuff on Project Kev and that stuff is hopefully preparing it ready for sale. Gosh, that was noisy. So my plan for this car today is, that, well, I mean to clean it because it's full of speckles everywhere. There's not much I can do about the paint job or any of that because it's just, it's just a bit of a rough old car. But it is a ZR and a three-door one and a yellow one at that. And I know that people want to buy these things. I'd like to buy one if only I needed one. The yellow ZR isn't to everybody's taste. And to be honest, neither will the steel wheels, white wheels. I could possibly supply some alloys for that. I'm also going to put this car up for sale with the option of a black bonnet because I quite like the yellow one. Going to give it a bit of a clean up on the inside. Uh, a lot of a clean up as far as that seat's concerned. And as much as I like my friend Craig, is the new buyer really going to want all these stickers all over it? I reckon no. I was just looking at this car then and it reminded me of something. And then I remembered that I've mentioned this before. Whether it's because it's yellow and slightly scruffy with uh, sign writing all over it, I'm not entirely sure. But that Trotter's independent uh, Regal van is still what it makes me think of. So much so that I forgot that I thought of that in the first place and I was about to say it again as if it was a new idea. Anyway, how do we get these stickers off? That's the question. The various chemicals no doubt available that will do the job. But uh, I'm going to try the, the natural method to start with at least. Hot water. Good news that very good because I actually did the other side to start with or some of it at least but I forgot to press record yep it's amazing really chemicals on the market to do absolutely every single job you could possibly think of yet the greatest solvent of them all is still hot water and that wasn't even invented that's only taken me a couple of minutes so far good job eh Oh, someone's trying their horn out. Yep, that's one side almost complete. That's an awful lot of hot water, that is. Do you know what? I might leave the MG badge on the bonnet because somebody might want that. Not the badge, but the bonnet. Hang on, wait a minute. I want the bonnet. I want the new owner to have the black bonnet with the vents in it. I don't want that badge on there. But... The new owner might insist they keep the yellow bonnet with the MG badge on. That's what I'm thinking. The problem with car stickers is uh, they're quite tacky. That's actually most of it done. The Rover Revival logo there, a couple more strips, and that, and then the one on the back as well. Uh, oh, and the ones on the mirrors. So it's probably only going to be about 10 litres of boiling water to get the whole thing off which I think is quite good I should be disappointed because it means that I've not had the opportunity to be uh, messing around with chemicals in the yard today you might think this is a really boring job but if I'm honest I find it quite therapeutic it's a bit like Peeling eggs. I like peeling eggs. 
I would call that job done. Sort of. I mean, there's loads of sticky residue left over, which I'm going to have to try and get off. You see this kind of thing all the time on things that have been previously sign written. Just bits of sticky stuff left over. Uh, rather misty looking again, what's going on? Yes. Uh, yeah, and the good news is I've got all that off without taking any of the lacquer off the paint. So it shows it can be done without chemicals. Just hot water and fingernails. That's all you need. To my friends Craig and Josh. I have bought this car twice now and both times I've had to remove stickers off of it. Oh, by the way, as uh, Peter came down yesterday and brought me the gift of beer, Craig also came down, as you know, and brought me the gift of cleaning products for the car. Yeah, I'm not gonna use that sponge though. Actually, I will, I'll use it for wheels and things like that. Also, here are the uh, Rover 800 seats and um, something else just over here, a fuel filler neck. We're not even at the end of January yet. Yet, look at this. The first wasp to come out has found itself dead on the custard missile. Well, I think I can safely say that that is my work done for the day. But, speaking of yellow things, mustard. Now, this might sound a bit strange, but I've gone off this stuff. Not mustard itself, but this kind of cheap old mustard. Ever since, for a joke in one of my earlier videos, I had myself a nice big spoonful of the stuff. I've not liked it because it didn't taste like mustard. It tasted like uh, flour. It tasted like the, the, what this stuff is mostly made of, which is going to be um, mustard flour. Oh, well anyway. Cows. <laughs>